Hi, Lady Esther here. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about beauty, skincare, and deep thoughts. Today I'm going to be talking about three lip products that I purchased. If you're interested in this today, please stick around. So right now I am wearing, I might butcher this, I'm, I'm trying really hard, Guerlain Bloom of Rose Kiss Kiss Rose Lip Hydrating and Plumping Tinted Lip Balm. 0.09 ounce or 2.8 grams and I'm wearing the sh shade Peach Sunrise. There's four shades. It's $37 and it's mainly for plumping and hydrating. Subtle colors and soft and glowing. So this is the shade that I'm wearing right now, Peach Sunrise. It's very subtle. It There's micro glitter in there. I don't know if you can see that. It's the beautiful packaging. It looks so beautiful and sophisticated. Let's see, do I have that upside down? I do it on. Okay. So this is the clay de po. Look at how beautiful that is. Clay de po. There's that. Dreamstone is number five. This retails for $38. It has eight shades, 0.25 ounce or eight milliliters. So this one is Sheer Color Silky Hydration. And finally we have the Chantecaille. As you can probably tell, I'm on like this shade <laughs> kick here. So the Chantecaille, where's the Chantecaille box? This is the Chantecaille box. It's a brilliant lip gloss, a brilliantly shiny gloss, hydrates creating soft, supple lips, gently pumped by, plumped by microspheres and veg, vegetal linked polysaccharides. So this is in the shade Flirt. I think this is a really good lip balm as far as plumping, I can't really say that I see a plumping effect. Maybe a tiny bit, but it's it feels very good on the lips. It's very hydrating. Like I would wear this just on my lips by itself. It feels really nice. I'm not sure I'm so crazy about the glitter specks in, in it, but that gives it a nice shine, but you, I have some glitter particles here and there. Next, we're going to do the clay de po. I'm going to show you. I'm going to demonstrate this. Wow. I, I really like this. I thought it would be too crazy in the color. It smells... I'm not 100% sure, but I think it smells a little bit like roses, I could be mistaken. It doesn't really have a strong smell. Okay, so compared to the Rouge Cocoa Gloss, this feels lighter. It's definitely not sticky, just like Rouge Cocoa Gloss, but it feels a lot lighter on the lips than the Rouge Cocoa Gloss. I really like this color. Wow. I just love lip gloss. Lip gloss is awesome because it's so moisturizing and I it doesn't feel, I don't like the way lipstick feels. I like the shininess and the moisturization of lip gloss. I think this, this color, I am really happy with this. This color is a winner for me. I am so glad I tried this. What do you think? Gorgeous. I love it. Very nice. Oh my gosh, this is a strong contender for my favorite spot of the 166 physical Rouge Cocoa Gloss. 
they're different, but they're both beautiful in their own way. So in between these lip changes, the glitter is definitely a problem from the Guerlain because it's I was it wasn't able to wipe it away. It's still on my lips, so that's kind of an issue. If it wasn't for the glitter, I think I would like it a lot more. So finally, we're gonna I'm gonna put on the Chantecaille and I believe that was flirt and flirt. And it has a brush applicator. I forgot to mention that the clay de Poe had kind of a, a spiral doe foot applicator and this one has a paintbrush. Okay, there's the Chantecaille. It's a brighter color than the Dreamstone from the Clay de Poe. So I'm not so sure that I'm crazy about the brush applicator on this. This color looks very pretty. It's it seems a little a little bit more intense than than the Dreamstone, but they're really similar. Okay, so now I'm going to do some swatches. So here's the arm swatches. This is the Guerlain Balm. This is the Clay de Poe, and this is the Chantecaille. The Clay de Poe Dreamstone is is more pink, and this is more orange. They're both pretty. I think I prefer the Clay de Poe Dreamstone to the, the Chantecaille. I hope that helps. What color was your favorite? If you like this video, please click the like button, please subscribe to my channel, and click the bell button to be reminded of new videos. Please leave your comments and, or questions in the box below. I always enjoy hearing from you, and I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you next time.